Last year, our next guest had sold out performances here in Baltimore. Now, the Baltimore Theater Project bringing him back. Max Major, the mentalist, magician extraordinaire here, and he is already amazing us with his <laughs> mind reading skills. <laughs> yes. We've been having some fun during the break. Yeah. Wow, you're really cool. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's it's actually good to be back uh, here in this studio mm -hmm. and with the new show. It's a completely different show. So folks have seen me in the past. Uh, it's debuting here in Baltimore. Um, folks can come out and see a whole new experience. All right, it's sold out tonight, but you're coming back in Baltimore in October. Yeah, we actually sold out two weeks ago, and in response to that demand, we've added uh, three show times: October second and third. Mm -hmm. uh, there's three show times to choose from. All right, we're gonna find out all about you in just a moment, but first, amaze all of us. Yes. Can I get inside your head? Yeah, please. Yeah? Uh, I want to play a game with you. Okay. Uh, it's an old game. It's called Person, Place, or Thing. Mm -hmm. Right now, I want you to think of a person, place, or thing. Don't okay. say anything out loud. Mm -hmm. You did that really quickly. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's in there. It's um, a Are you scared yet? Because you're in my you're, mind. You're thinking of family. You thinking of your father? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, that's that's <laughs> when I ask someone to go to. A lot of times okay. we go to family, yeah. father or mother. But you are closer to your father. I don't know if you want to say that on air, but you and your dad were very close. Yes. Yes, we are. Yeah. Um, Think about a memory with your dad. Let's play with that a little bit. Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> think about where you were. You're on vacation. Um, we have to. Are you th are you thinking right now? Or are you literally in this moment thinking about being at the beach with your father? Yes. <laughs> okay. And I have to say, it wasn't actually vacation because we've lived in Hawaii when okay. my dad was in the Navy. So it sort of like always was vacation. Okay. Is there a specific? Don't say it out loud. But okay. is there like a specific memory? Of, of you at the beach with your dad that stands out, don't say it, but do you have a, 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 a think of an activity or something? I am, and if you say it, yeah. I'm going to freak out. <laughs> yeah, she's You're just crazy. About the f first time you ever rode a boogie board, like your dad teaching you how to use a body board no, or stop boogie it. board? Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm a no, little weirded out. This is absolutely the truth. This is what? absolutely the truth. Wow. It's not even supernatural. <laughs> I'm not reaching out to your past relatives or anything like that. It's, it's based on a learned skill set. Uh -huh. And so I'm working with uh, body language, facial expressions, a lot I know about human nature. When I ask someone to think of a memory where they might go, often leads to family and travel. But there's a fair amount of guesswork that happens as well. So in the show, you'll see things like this happen with no preparation. People in the audience I've never met, strangers in this show, in fact, will actually read each other's minds. Wow. And so it's a really, really awesome experience. Do, wow. do we have time for you and I? Just Try something together. I, uh, I yeah. think so. Yeah. Do you have your cell phone I on do. you? I don't know if you bring it on the set. But I you, uh, do, just in case. Yeah. Um, we're going to try something with you that's also kind of personal. I found people are very protective of their phones. I saw you almost didn't want to hand it over. Can I see it actually? Sure. Oh. Do you have a, a password on your phone? Do you, I uh, do. So can we get a, just a shot of mm -hmm. this real quick? This is your cell phone. Okay, there's the keypad. Just up keep there, it right, right there and then they'll find us. Okay, you got okay. it. Uh, no, I don't want to type your password okay. in in front of the camera, but look at me. Yep. Think of the first two digits. I'm going to show you just so you can confirm this isn't like an app. This is your phone. Am I on track? Yeah. Yes. Think about the third digit. Yes. Get a really tight shot of this. Can you wow. guys get on this? Watch the last one. What? What? How, How did you do that? No, come on. That's crazy. I swear this is real. How did you know my passcode? How did you do that? Mm. I hope that's not your debit card pin also. <laughs> it's, it's not Max Major. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer, Deborah Wiener. Oh, my gosh. Wow. So Come what, on. what about her eyes gave this away? What about her body language told you what those numbers were? Well, that's were? taken me, honestly, 20 years to figure out. Wow. Yeah. And so how do you do, so how does this translate for us in our everyday life? Just real quickly, what can you say to all of us as we're reading people's number, body language? I mean, that's the any body language book you ever read, any course you mm -hmm. ever take. Rule number one is pay attention. And so so many times we're engaged in the conversation, but we're not actually observing. Mm -hmm. We're thinking about what we're saying next. We're actually script writing in our head. Yeah. What am I going to say to respond to this? Rather than really paying attention. So observation is key, and we talk about that a lot in the show. Um, if folks want to come out and see the yeah. show again, tonight is sold out. But there are shows October 2nd and 3rd. MaxMajor.net has all of the new show times all over the country, no matter where you're watching from. Will you come back in October and be on our show? Uh, okay. Okay, great. <laughs> yeah, change Yay. the password. All right, don't go I away. I am we changing have to my go. password. 11 Fitness is coming up <laughs> next. We wish we could spend more time with Max. Here's a look at last night's winning lottery numbers. He probably already knows them. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, my God. No, really, how did you do that? That's crazy.